Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here, long time no see, but I'm back with another full game walkthrough. This one is for a game called Telling Lies. You can tell by the length of the video, we're roughly going to be playing this for about 45 minutes, maybe a little bit over an hour if you get stuck on one of the achievements or trophies. This game came out not too long ago, a couple of weeks now. And it is a very easy 1000 and completion. It's actually also a really cool and good game and I highly recommend you try playing it on your own before mopping up with this video if you so desire, but that's gonna be completely up to you. My philosophy when making full game walkthroughs has always been to cover the better games as opposed to the really bad games, even if they are a little bit more expensive. And I hope that one day this game will also go on sale for people who don't wanna spend the full price. In this game, you'll take control of someone's computer and look through the private files of a few individuals looking for one big lie. It's a little bit of a narrative experience and a little bit of a investigational thriller. As for the actual achievement and trophy list, a lot of the things are gonna be unlocked through natural progression, which is a lot faster when watching this video. And then others will be unlocked as we play doing specific tasks. At the very beginning here, this kind of works like a tutorial. The database server is what you can use to search for videos. And those are the videos we'll be watching in order to make progress through the game. But before we get into the actual main game, I'm going to unlock a whole bunch of side things. The first thing I want to do is go to the trash using the little mouse cursor. Inside of the trash, I'll find desktop pics, click that folder and drag one of the pictures into the trash can in order to delete it, this will unlock one of the achievements or trophies. Next, go to the top right corner to the internet icon and then pick the first network that you're not connected to and you'll be asked for a password which we don't know. For this, I'm not sure if you have to fail it three or four times or if you have to put in a specific password. And I've heard different reports from different people. So I'm just gonna put in the wrong password two times and then I'm gonna put in the password that is actually just the word password, all lowercase, and eventually the achievement or trophy should unlock on screen. Next, what we wanna do is go to the top left corner icon and click on solitaire. Here we actually have to win a game of solitaire. So if you don't know the rules, I'm gonna give you the basics, but actually knowing what you're doing can be pretty helpful here. The one thing that you will notice is that one of the kings are missing, making this game a lot more difficult because it's kind of impossible if you don't do all of the right moves. Now, the premise of this game is pretty simple. You're trying to clear all of the cards from the bottom half and then put them in the top right corner. In the top right corner, you start with the aces and then you stack up and you stay in the same suit. And you can use the cards in the top left corner in order to help your progress. But you want to try to minimize the amount of cards that are on the bottom half at all times. The more cards you have down there, the harder it will be for you to make the correct stacks you want. So what I would recommend is just dealing until you get a couple of aces on your screen right at the beginning, and then just stack those aces into the top right corner right away as your opening move. You can also stack your twos and your threes as you can see me doing here, but you really want to get lucky with your initial um, dealing and that'll make your life a lot easier. As you can see, I finally have all the aces now, so I'm gonna start working my way through some of the cards. Those two stacks at the right side are gonna be obviously the hardest just based on the fact that they are the tallest stacks, but hopefully they aren't too, too bad for you. And uh, as you can see, I'm kind of working my way through. I'm focusing mostly on the bottom half and I'm trying not to pull any cards from the top left unless I absolutely have to. That is the only time I'm gonna look in the top left. And uh, eventually you'll be able to stack all of the cards into the top right corner based on their values. And uh, hopefully that'll allow you to beat the game. Now there is a missing black king in this. So it will be a little bit harder because you can't get a perfect stack of four. You will always have a red queen that doesn't have a place to go. And because of that, it can be a little bit hard if you get stuck with a red queen in one of the rows at the bottom. Hopefully what I'm saying is making sense. I'll leave a link to a little bit of a description of how solitaire works 
in the YouTube comments if you want to figure out more for yourself. I've kind of just given you the basics, but for what I found for me, I would just deal myself cards until I got a couple of aces right out the gate. I would try to just clear a couple of cards, learn the patterns of the game, and eventually you should be able to make it. If you get a good dealing right off the bat and you know what you're doing in solitaire, this could take you around five minutes or 10 minutes. And if you have no idea what you're doing and you also get a bunch of really bad deals in a row, this could take you upwards of 30 or even 40 minutes. And this is gonna be the longest and technically most skill involved achievement or trophy in the entire game. Now, once you actually complete the game, you will get the achievement or trophy called Missing King. There's also another one related to Solitaire, and for that, we'll need to play 15 games total. And for that, you can just keep dealing until it unlocks. You'll have to deal a total of 25 hands, and once that pops, you are free to close Solitaire, and we can now start working on the actual main game. Now with that out of the way, feel free to close Solitaire. And what we're gonna be doing now is focusing on the database server window, which is where the vast majority of the gameplay for the game takes place. You use the database server to search for keywords. And when you search for a keyword, it will show you a bunch of videos that go with that keyword. And then you would watch these videos in order to try to solve the mystery of the game. And normally this method would take you around four to five hours, but I'm gonna be showing you basically every video very, very quickly. But before we kind of get to all that, I'm gonna get a couple of achievements and trophies out of the way. So go ahead and search for that word love. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start bookmarking videos and we're gonna be doing an achievement called through the rabbit hole. So click on the first video and press A to play it. Now pause it. And once you pause it, you can press X to add it to a bookmark. So that's gonna be one of our bookmarks. And then you can use your left stick to highlight the words that are being spoken in the subtitles. You can also scrub through with the right stick to fast forward and reverse in a video. This may come in handy later. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually back out and I'm gonna replay this video from the beginning. Right. I'm gonna pause it. I know it's already bookmarked and I'm just gonna start selecting a word. So I'm gonna select the first word, which is I've. And if I click on it, I can actually search for that word. And once I've searched for that word, it'll bring up all the videos with that word in it. Now, if there is a little eye icon, like an eyeball, that means we've already watched the video and it's already bookmarked if there's a little bookmark on it. So feel free to click a different video so we can get a different set of words and work through, through the rabbit hole for this achievement. So I'm gonna click on the second video now. I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna pause it. I'm going to bookmark it so I can get my second bookmark and I'm gonna look up another word. I'm gonna look up the word O this time. You wanna make sure you're not selecting the same word you've already selected in a previous selection though. So now that I've looked up the word O, we can click on the second video. Pause it, bookmark it, select the word God now because we've already selected the word O. And then we can select the second video here, play it, bookmark it. Maybe we'll select the word hands this time. We can go to the second video again, play it, bookmark it. Maybe we'll select the word where this time. Select the third video now because we've already seen a bunch of these. Bookmark it, maybe we'll select the word night. Seems like a pretty common word. So now we'll select the fourth video, bookmark it, and maybe we'll select the word light. Select the new video, bookmark it. Maybe we'll select the word sun, new video, play it, bookmark it, 
the word beautiful, play it, bookmark it. We'll do the word voice, play the second video, bookmark it. We'll use the word real. I'm going really quick. It's okay if you if you want to slow down the video to catch up, you can. But as long as you're doing a similar thing, it doesn't matter the exact words you're picking. We're just going from video to video using this method in order to bookmark as many videos as possible. Really? We'll have to go through all of these videos anyways coming up. We're going to bookmark this next video. We're going to go with the word James. Again, a new video. We're going to bookmark it. We're going to select the word Jane this time maybe. A new video. Play it. Bookmark it. The word welcome. Play it. Bookmark it. The word people, play it, bookmark it, the word matter, play it, bookmark it, the word name, play it, bookmark it, the word Isabella. We have videos that we've already seen, but that's okay. Just play the first video. We'll select the word OK, play a new video, bookmark it, the word buddy, play it, bookmark it. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Showing, play it, bookmark it, solidarity, didn't work. We're going to go with protesters, play it bookmark it. And although they didn't show up on my screen, at this point you should have at least 20 or 21 bookmarks and you should have gotten the through the rabbit hole achievement or trophy. For some reason they're just not showing up on screen while I'm recording. Next up, what we want to do is back out and go to the bookmarks. And here we'll notice that we should have probably around 23 bookmarks. And what we'll start doing is tagging these videos. So go into the video uh, list and on the right hand side, you'll see a couple of check boxes. Check off a few videos. I'm going to do the first four. Click the tag button and then tag these videos with anything. I'm just going to use the character Y because it is the absolute easiest. Then what I'm going to do is I can unselect the first couple. I can select more. But I'm basically just going to go down the list and tag a bunch of videos with different characters and different letters until I unlock an achievement or trophy for tagging a total of 10 videos. This one's a little bit weird because it's not for tagging 10 videos and it's also not for coming up with 10 unique tags. So just keep doing them until it unlocks. So as you saw, the first four I labeled with a Y, then I labeled a bunch with YY, and then I kind of unselected a few and selected a few and labeled them with like the letter U and then with the letter TR. I'm just gonna continue down my bookmark list and just continue tagging videos with different and unique tags and adding those tags to the videos until my achievement or trophy just eventually unlocks on screen. Once that unlocks, we're ready to focus on actually progressing through the game, which ends when the timer in the top right reaches 5 a.m. To progress the timer, all we have to do is watch new and unique videos in the database. And in order to get the completion, we will have to watch all 170 videos in the game, which is what the rest of this guide focuses on primarily. All right, so from bookmarks, we're going to go to search, and then we're going to be searching a lot of different terms. The first one we're going to go for is accountant. I will also have a list of all of these search terms down below in the YouTube description, but I would probably recommend you follow along with the video as I will be uh, giving tips and whatnot as we play. So we're going to search for accountant and it'll only show you five uh, videos at a time. What we need to do to get all of the videos is watch them and to watch them all you have to do is click on them, press play and then back out. And once you back out, you'll see the eyeball icon, meaning that we have successfully watched it. We need to have this eyeball icon on every video in the game, 170 total. So we're gonna click on the second video. 
And after the second video, we actually reached our first kind of story moment. At 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and 5 a.m., you get briefly interrupted by something going on in the background. These only last about 5 to 10 seconds, and you will lose control. And once you regain control, now it's 1.04 a.m. in the top right corner, we can, we can go in, back into the server and back out. So we're still on that word accountant. We've watched the first three videos, watch the fourth one, back out quick, and the fifth one, back out quick. All right, the second term we're going to search is agent. This is the uh, the word we need, and this is how the rest of the guide will go. So hopefully you enjoy typing. It might be faster for you to type on an iPhone or something if you have the Xbox app, but I found that it's actually not too bad typing with the controller. Our second term, agent, has five videos that we have not watched yet, so make sure all five of them do have the eyeball icon on them. Now for some videos, like this third one, you'll notice that there are two matches kind of inside of the same folder. We don't have to worry about both of these videos. As long as you click the first one, watch it, and back out, you'll get that eyeball icon, and the game will count it. So we're still on that word agent, and all five videos have been watched. As you can tell, the timer in the top right corner is now going to be moving by pretty quickly. The next word we have is ALBA, A-L-B-A. We're going to search that word, and we get four new videos. At the beginning of all of these search terms, most of the videos will be new, just because we haven't really seen any of them. But as we get uh, later and later down the list, the words will be more and more specific, and we'll be getting less and less videos showing up. We are going in alphabetical order, by the way. The next word we need is anesthesiologist. Have fun spelling that. You can also try to do this, anesthesia. Anesthesio low gist. That's a tough word to spell. It will be in the YouTube description and you can see it on screen right now though. For anesthesiologist, I spell anesthesiologists. And this is quite a tough word to spell, but you can see it on screen or in the YouTube description. And once we search it, we should get actually four videos, but only two of them will be new. So make sure we watch both of those. Yeah. The next word we have is a dash. It's actually this dash up here. Squared. As shown on screen or in the description. We're going to search that. Three new videos. And again, just make sure the eyeball goes up on them. That's all you really need to do. The next word is a word that I will not say out loud because of YouTube. And uh, you can see it on screen, though, and hopefully you can type it out. And uh, there we go. So this, this search term has a total of four new videos. And on the first video, we actually reached our 2 a.m. mark. So we get the next little step in the progression of the game, uh, a small five to 10 second break, and we should unlock an achievement or trophy as we reach 2 a.m. Uh, hopefully they're working on screen so you guys can see it unlock, but I'm gonna assume it does there, it actually goes. Perfect. So you'll now have uh, nine out of 15, hopefully, if you've been following along, including making it past 2 a.m. now. We're still on the same search term, though, we were on before. I'm going to research it, and I have, to, I have to get the third, fourth, and fifth video clicked here. Yep. And now the next search term is Aurora. There are a lot of search terms at the beginning that start with, like, the same letters, but as we go further and further down the list, uh, it kind of ends up going faster and faster. So it might amazing. seem like there's a lot more search terms than there actually are when we're just starting out here. The next word we're going to search is the name Ava, A-V-A. This should uh, result in, in my instance, four new videos. But if you followed a slightly different path at the very beginning, it's okay. You might have some different videos watched than I have. Uh, as long as you watch every video for every search term, you will unlock all the achievements, even if you had a slightly different path at the beginning. The next word I have here is baby, B-A-B-Y. Search that term. A couple new videos. For me, it's three. We're going to, again, if there's a group of four, we don't have to watch all four. We only have to watch one of them for the eyeball icon. And on to the next search term, 
which is baddie, B-A-D-D-I-E. This should result in three new videos for me. Again, we're just getting that eyeball icon on every video. And I actually reached uh, 3 a.m. Now, there's something very important that happens at 3 a.m., so do not, do not click away once this happens. The cat will walk across the keyboard, they'll open up Solitaire, and they will type a bunch of characters on your keyboard. Do not erase those characters. Instead, search those characters. The characters are nothing and completely meaningless, but there is an achievement or trophy specifically tied to searching what the cat types on the keyboard. So I'm going to wait for the 3 a.m. achievement to go off screen, and I'm going to search what the cat typed. There are no records here, but my achievement did unlock. Great. Now, I was on the term baddie, and we had to go away from it, so we have to go back to it just to make sure we have all the videos there, and we probably won't. And we have this fifth video here to click and go back. And now we're done with that search term. We can also just erase solitaire from the back just so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, it takes up a little bit of the screen space, makes it a little bit more confusing. Next word is barbecue. B-A-R-B-E-C-U-E. -E. Barbecue. Search for that. Two new videos. Next search term is bark, B-A-R-K, like a dog does. Only one video here. Bark like a dog. And we can back out and go for the next search term, which is Bellevue, B-E-L-L-E-V-U-E. -E -E. I believe this is a city, uh, and I think this one refers to the one not far from Seattle. There are two videos here, and we will back out. And the next search term, I'm actually going to double check that we got those two. We did. The next search term we have is Barry, B-E-R-R-Y. And we can watch this video. And next search term is Black Kite. And you have to type both words because there are too many videos with the word black. You wouldn't get this video unless you typed Black Kite. So Black Kite, we have three videos that we have not watched. We'll watch all three of them. Hopefully you guys aren't too bored. Let me know in the comments down below if you did actually play this game normally, what you thought of it. After Black Kite, we can use the word boat, B-O-A-T, like the one on the water, B-O-A-T. We have four new videos here. We're going to watch the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fifth one. We're actually past 4 a.m., but for some reason, we haven't gotten our 4 a.m. interruption yet. So we'll continue. After boat is the word boo, B-O-O. -O. For boo, we have four new videos. We'll probably get interrupted at some point here by the progression of the game. Maybe not. So for boo, I had four new videos, and I watched the first three of them in my playthrough and got interrupted. Again, you may be one or two videos off depending on the very beginning of how you played. But as long as you're going through every search term with me and you're watching every video in each search term to make sure that the eyeball icon is on there, you are good to go and you don't have to worry about anything. So we're still on the term for boo and we're going to make sure we have all five videos watched. Now, at some point, we'll, we will reach 5 a.m., which is when the game can end, but we'll continue playing past 5 a.m. in order to get all the videos watched, and then we'll finish the game. This game is actually very forgiving, and if you were to play it normally and try to mop up after, you can actually mop it up pretty easily without having to worry about anything. So you could play it normally for the most part and then just worry about mopping up if you wanted to, but at this point in the video, it's probably a little bit too late for that. The next term we're going to look for is books, B-O-O-K-S, and this will result for me in two new videos. And we can search for our next term, which is bridge. I think we're maybe about, I don't know, a third or a fourth of the way through all of the search terms now. So we're done with the word bridge. And the next search term we'll go for is California, C-A-L-I-F-O-R. And then you can actually, if you want, just select the autocomplete if you're on Xbox. This can save you a little bit of time, um, but it's up to you. 
For California, I have personally two new videos. You'll also notice that the timer in the top right corner is moving a lot more slowly during this section of the game. Next up, we have the word clean, C-L-E-A-N. Uh, don't want, do not want to play Minecraft Tulip, but thanks for the invite. And for the word clean, uh, we have three new videos for me. Make sure all of the videos have a eyeball icon for you. Then we have the name Daniel, D-A-N-I-E-L, Daniel. And search, we have three new videos. Make sure they're all watched with the eyeball icon. And then we have, I think this is also a name, Davey, D-A-V-E-Y, Davey. These are some of the more interesting clips of the game, if you so desire. If you want to feel like you have an e-girlfriend, it might be a good uh, good time to watch some of these videos. Uh, after Davey, we have the name David, D-A-V-I-D. And we should have two videos here that I have not watched. I'm going to make sure I click them both so that I get the eyeball icon. Then we have DWP. That's just the three letters. Two new videos here that we have not yet seen. After this, I'm going to look up the name Emma, E-M-M-A. Couple new videos. As you can tell, this chapter is kind of the longest in the game. Our clock isn't really rising all that much for every video we watch. After Emma, we have End, E-N-D. One new video for me. After End, I have Eric, E-R-I-C, the name, Eric. Two new videos. All right, after Eric, we have the word fever. One new video for me. After the word fever, we have uh, the word fireworks. F-I-R-E-W-O-R-K-S. Fireworks. One new video for here. Now we have a couple of bad words, which I won't say out loud again because YouTube is always listening. So we have this word, and it will result in three new matches for us. And then we have the same word, but with I-N-G at the end. So we're going to type that next. Again, YouTube is always listening. Um, and here we have four new videos that we have not yet seen. You may also notice, you probably noticed this already, but a search term can give you more than five videos, but the game will only show you the first five matches, which is why we have to get some very specific search terms in here as well. So now that we have those two F uh, words done, we can go for glowy, G-O-L-W-Y, glowy. Two new videos. And next up, we have Green Storm. Two words. Green Storm. <clears throat> Two new videos. And then we have a Gun. G-U-N. Two new videos. Three new videos. And then we have Halloween, H-A-L-L-O-W-E-E-N. Hopefully I'm not typing too fast for you. If I am and you find yourself falling behind a lot, you might want to just put the video at 75% speed on YouTube. For Halloween, I have only one new video. Personally, you may have more, you may have less. Harry, the name H-A-R-R-Y. After that, we have the name Isabella, I-S-A-B-E-L-L-A, -L -L Isabella. Here, I've actually already seen all of these because I used this search term earlier, but you may want to just make sure and double check anyways. 
Jane, G-A-N-E. I personally have two videos to click here, so I'll click both of them. Just make sure, again, every single video should have an eyeball on it for every single search term. Then we have the search term Jane space Dean, D-E-A-N. I think I spelled that right. And I have both of these watched already, but it's uh, make sure to double check anyways. Then we have Jones, G-O-N-E-S. Two new videos for me. I think we're about halfway done the, all the search terms at this point. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Once we're done these search terms, we're pretty much done the game. So you don't have to worry about too, too much. Next up is everyone's favorite word, Karen, K-A-R-E-N, Karen. And we can search. After Karen, we have kink, K-I-N-K. Sorry about a couple of the random invites showing up on screen. I uh, had to turn notifications on for something and some must have forgotten to turn them off. After we watch kink, our next one is night with a K. K-N-I-G-H-T space 80 spelt out fully. Night 80. This will give us one or two new videos. Make sure you watch them both. The name Laura, L-A-U-R-A is our next search term here. Again, make sure all the videos are watched as always. Little Mermaid is the next one. L-I-T-T-L-E, Mermaid, M-E-R-M-A-I-D, Little Mermaid. And those should be watched as well. Love, L-O-V-E, these are probably all already watched, but if they're not, just double check that they are. Mary, M-A-R-Y. Those are watched, but double check that they are just in case. The name Max, M-A-X. We have some new ones here. Then we have Maxine, M-A-X-I-N-E. Then we have Medicine, M-E-D-I-C-I. N E medicine two new videos then we have Melissa the name M E L I S S A Melissa couple new videos here as well we're definitely getting closer and closer every search term and we just reached 5 a.m. You can finish the game right now, but there's an achievement for watching every single video. So we're not going to end the game yet. Uh, we're going to instead continue searching until we're all done watching every video. And before we know it, uh, we will have our thousand. I think there's probably honestly maybe five minutes left if I had to guess. This little story section is a little bit longer than some of the other ones in the game, so just give it a little bit of time. What she's doing is she's taking the database file from her external drive and then uh, copying and pasting it into the Jane the Ripper um, little box that she opened up. We're going to kind of ignore this, and we're going to go to the database server icon in her external drive. We're going to click on that and just bring the window up and over everything else. We're gonna make sure that we have all of the Melissa videos done, which was the search term we were on just previously. And we do, so now we're ready to move on to the next thing, which is Michelle, the name. I am Michelle, there we go. I'm gonna auto-complete that one and make sure all three of their videos are done. Next up, Mike, M-I-K-E. All those videos are watched, but just double check to make sure. Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R, is next. One new video here. Make sure you watch it. Then we have Mission, M-I-S-S-I-O-N, Mission. Make sure they're all watched. Then we have the word Mama, M-O, sorry, M-O-M-M-A. 
all those videos are watched, but double check that they're watched for you as well. Next, we have a little bit of a longer one. Organizing group. I'll leave it on screen for just a second, but organizing group. This results in five videos and hopefully one of them is new for you. If it's not, that's okay. Just make sure you got those eyeball icons. Then we have Papa, P-A-P-A. -P -A. And here I have a couple new videos actually, two new ones. And the next search term is Paul, P-A-W-P-A-U-L. I believe we're over the 75% mark in case you're wondering. Paul is done. Now we have the next name, Peter, P-E-T-E-R. Double check that all those videos are watched. Yours may not be, mine are. Next word is pipeline, P-A-P-P-I-P-E-L-I-N-E, -P -P -E -E, pipeline. Two new videos for me. Then I have Pookie, P-O-O-K-I-E, Pookie. Two new videos for me. Then I have Pregnant, P-R-E-G-N, Pregnant, N-A-N-T at the end there, Pregnant. Uh, one new video for me. Uh, then we have an interesting one, Prosperin, which I believe is a place. So P R O S P E R E N, Prosperin. Only one new video for me. The way Prosperin does it. Rally, R A L L Y. I have all these, but double check that you do as well. Real name, two words, is our next search term here. Double check you have all of them. Uh, I'm using the D-pad, by the way. Uh, I should have probably mentioned that, but hopefully you had figured that out by now. It's much faster to D-pad on the screen than it is to uh, use your analog stick. The next term is record or record. Um, I believe they're all rec they're all talking about a record. So record. Watch any videos that you may not have already watched. Your record. Next one is R I O R D A N. I don't know if this is a name or if this is just a word that is not in my vocabulary. Make sure you have all of those watched, which I already luckily do. Then we have the term secret. A couple new videos for me. After secret, we have she's my. Two words for this one in order to uh, get the criteria down so that less results show up. She's my. Only one video here. Then we have another bad word, the, the S word. Uh, so search for that. A couple new videos for me as well here. Then we have the name Simon, S-I-O-S-I-M-O-N. One new video for me. Then we have shot, S-H-O-T. Make sure all those are done. Then we have Smith. I think we have like six or seven more. Smith, S-M-I-T-H. Then we have Snow White. Make sure you have all those. Then we have spell, S-P-E-L-L. -L. Make sure you have all those. I have two new ones here. 
If you really, really wanted to, you can keep a count of how many videos you've watched, but probably don't want to. Then we have star, S-T-A-R, star. No new videos for me. Then we have Steven, S-T-E-V-E-N, Steven. One new video for me. Then we have Tennis, T-E-N-N-I-S, Tennis. No new videos for me. Then we have uh, another word that YouTube may not like, so I'm not going to say it. Uh, that's their word on screen right there. And we have two new videos on screen. We've watched both of them. Next up, Valentine, our third last word, Valentine. One, two new videos. Then we have Water is Life. Which is a very interesting one, but we're you know we're getting more and more specific down the list, so we can make sure we get any videos we may have missed. Water is life. We have one new video here, and then our last search term is actually not following um, the order of the alphabet. It is a dentist, D E N T I S T. I found this list by the way on True Achievements. I will link it in the description. I'm not sure who came up with the full list. I think it's a bunch of different people's lists kind of combined together. So we're gonna search up dentist and one new video at dentist. We should now have 169 out of 170 videos and it should be 5.52 a.m. in the top right corner. I'm going to now close the database server. I'm going to take the D the rtnansa.db file from the external drive and I'm going to hold it and drag it to the Jane the Ripper um, uh, folder on the left. And now what I can do is press rip, encrypt, and upload. If we go to our achievements, we should have 13 out of 15. You'll get your 14th for beating the game and you'll get your 15th for watching all 170 videos. The last video is the video that ends the game. So you won't actually know if you have all of the videos until after you beat the game. So hopefully you were very careful with what you clicked and didn't click. We will now uh, rip, encrypt, and upload and then proceed. This can take, uh, I don't know, like 15, 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. And once it's all done, the game will basically end and play out. And hopefully, if you follow it along closely, you'll have your 1,000 out of 1,000 or your beautiful platinum trophy on PlayStation. If you do, please drop a like on this video. And if you don't, it's probably Xbox Live's fault for not working. But you can leave your comments down below if you do have any issues and I'll try my best to address anyone who may have a problem. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please recommend this video to a friend, recommend this channel to a friend. I really do hope you enjoyed this game if you played it normally or you got some easy achievements or trophies out of the way if you didn't really feel like playing it. A super special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Shout out to Mr. Hippo 11 and hopefully I see you soon. I will let the video play out for the rest until it is finished. And I'll show you my 1,000 out of 1,000, and we'll leave it at that. Thank you again, and I'll see you soon. Peace.
I never watched the video David made. And I didn't attend the inquiry. I like to pretend that the bomb erased him in the past and in the present. It'll take a while for me to figure out how a real relationship works. But in the meantime, I keep busy, make a name for myself as a journalist for the Detroit Free Press. When I'm 37, I'll move in with a school teacher named Jaden, who was born on the same day as me. The star never stops being special. Mom is right. I am pretty special. And when I turn 18, my grandma will try to tell me about my dad, and I will stop her. Shush, Grandma, I'll say. I'm happy. <laughs>